everyone welcome to talent battle in this video i am going to solve some aptitude questions which are important for campus placement preparation i will not be solving aptitude question by explaining all the concepts from very basic i'll be just using the particular method for that particular topic and then i'll be explaining maybe if you don't know method from general aptitude topics you may find it difficult to understand that particular solution if you want to study aptitude from basic we have already launched aptitude preparation packages which are available on our platform or you can contact us any time before starting the video i would like to tell you to subscribe to this particular youtube channel as we will be posting lot of aptitude videos as well as off campus updates and internship updates through this channel so now let's start a sold an article to b at a profit of 20% b sold the same article to c at a loss of 25% and c sold the same article to d at a profit of 40% if d paid rupees 252 for the article then find out how much did a pay for it so this question belongs to profit loss now one thing you need to understand profit loss questions can be solved by multiple methods maybe some of you will try to do it in a reverse order like you will start with d then you will go for c b and ultimately you will try to find out value of a but what i would recommend it will take a much time which the method if you are trying to do in a reverse order you can do this particular question in a single step but before that you need to understand the logic okay what is the basic formula for profit loss in terms of selling price and cost price the formula is selling price is equal to whatever is the cost price into if it is a profit then 100 plus profit percentage divided by 100 and if it is a loss then how do we write it selling price is equal to cost price into 100 we just make it minus minus loss percentage so to find out any selling price we need to use this particular formula so what i will do they have asked us how much did a pay for it so as i mentioned rather than starting from the reverse order i will start from the first point which is a so what is the cost price of a that we don't know right i will consider cost price of a as x rupees okay so first a has purchased at x rupees then a sold it to b at a profit of 20 percentage so i already know cost price of a now i want to calculate what will be selling price of a how can i calculate it selling price formula i can use right selling price of a is equal to cost price what is cost price of a it is x into what was the profit percentage when he sold 20 percentage so 100 plus 20 120 by 100 so now i know the value a or selling price of a is x into 120 by 100 but if it is a selling price of a then i can say this is cost price of b because b purchased at this particular value and now i know cost price of b i can calculate selling price of b now how i can calculate selling price of b selling price of b is equal to first i need to write down cost price of b which is x into 120 by 100 and on that what has happened 25 percentage loss how i can write 25 percentage loss 100 minus 25 which is 75 by 100 so 75 by 100 of this particular cost price now if this is a selling price of b b has sold it to c so i can say this is cost price of c and if i know cost price of c now i can calculate selling price of c what will be selling price of c first i need to write down cost price of c which is x into 120 by 100 into 75 by 100 and on cost price what has happened he got 40 percentage profit so 100 plus 40 which is 140 by 100 so i can say this is selling price of c but if this is selling price of c this i can say it is cost price of d and they have already mentioned if d paid rupees 252 means cost price of d is 252 so this is the equation ultimately you need to solve since i was explaining i had written multiple steps but when you understand the concept what you need to do you directly need to start like cost price of a is x on that 20 percentage profit means 120 by 100 on that 25 percentage loss means 75 by 100 on that 40 percentage profit means 140 by 100 and for this they have paid or d has paid 252 okay and now just we need to do calculation okay what we need to do simplify 25 into 3 25 into 4 20 into 7 20 into 5 20 into 6 20 into 5 2 into 2 2 into 3 now let us take everything on the right side so what will happen x is equal to 252 into 5 into 2 10 10 into 5 50 divided by 3 into 3 9 9 into 7 so 7 into 1 7 into 3 is 21 4 will be the remainder 42 means 6 
okay so 9 into 1 9 into 4 what will be the final value x is equal to 4 into 50 which is 200 so answer for this question cost price of a we considered as x answer will be 200 a solution of cough syrup has 15 percentage alcohol another solution has 5 percentage alcohol how many liters of the second solution must be added to 20 liters of the first solution to make a solution 10 percentage alcohol so now this question actually belongs to allegation mixture concept in allegation mixture concept we use a simple formula whenever we want to mix two particular things okay we write down first quantity then second quantity and then we write down the mixture quantity okay so in this case what has happened they are having two solutions so let me just write down solution one and solution two okay now what has happened in this particular case first solution is having 15 percentage alcohol so my first value i will write down 15 percentage another solution has five percentage alcohol so second value i will write down over here five percentage how many liters of the second solution must be added to 20 liters of first solution so they have given us quantity of the first solution as well which is 20 liters to make a solution 10 percentage alcohol so whenever i will mix first solution and second solution the mixture should have 10 percentage alcohol okay mixture value is called as mean value in allegation mixture concept okay so what is the formula for allegation mixture how do we calculate the ratio in what ratio we need to add solution one and solution two so the concept is very easy just you need to write down 15 5 and 10 in this manner okay whatever the value in what order they have given and then below 15 i will take the difference of, of the right side number so right side i am having 10 which is a bigger value and then 5 so difference of that is 5 since we are calculating ratio i will write it like this now below 5 i will take the uh, difference of the left side number which is 15 and 10 15 is the bigger number so 15 minus 10 which is 5 so 5 is to 5 means what 1 is to 1 so i need to add solution 1 and solution 2 in the same way or same measures i can say so already they have given solution 1 is 20 liters so if solution 1 is 20 liters solution 2 also has to be 20 liters since the ratio of two liquids or solution is 1 is to 1 okay so answer for this question is going to be 20 liters if you don't know allegation mixture topic i would first recommend to understand the concept of this topic and then this question is very easy for you even you can cross check it like if you want to cross check so let's check the first solution is of 20 liters out of that 15 percentage alcohol means how much alcohol will be there 15 percentage how we can calculate always calculate 10 percentage first so 10 percentage of 20 liters means 2 liters an extra 5 percentage means 5 percentage of 2 liters means or half of that I can say is 1 liter. So total 3 liter alcohol was present in the first solution. In the second solution we found out that it is 20 liters and 5 percentage alcohol is present means 5 percentage means 10 percentage will be 2. So 5 percentage I can say it will be 1 liter. So total 1 liter. So as you can check if I mix solution 1 and solution 2 total solution will be of 40 liter okay and alcohol will be 3 plus 1 4 liter which is 10 percentage of the solution but you don't need to cross check if you know the concept directly you can find out answer okay and then save your time a train does a journey without stopping in 8 hours if it had traveled 5 kilometer an hour faster it would have done the journey in 6 hours 40 minutes what is the slower speed so this question belongs to time speed distance whenever you are solving any question from time speed distance train or boat stream and these kind of question comes okay what you can do you can try to create some equation you can find out what we can equate in this particular question so as you can check they have given us different timings they have said the speed is also different but you can consider about the distance distance between both the journeys will be same so that is your first point by which you need to start I can say distance traveled okay during first journey okay distance traveled during first journey will be equal to distance traveled during second journey so what will be the distance of first journey as we know the basic formula of distance okay distance is equal to speed into time same way I need to write down speed into time for second journey what is the speed of the first journey as you can check first journey has taken more time so it will be a slower speed let me consider the slower speed as x okay, x is my slower speed okay which we need to find out ultimately so this is slower speed how much time we have taken for the first journey 8 hours 
so i can say total distance will be speed x into time 8 which is 8x what will be the distance for second journey okay speed will be if it had traveled 5 km on faster and are faster so speed i can say x plus 5 because slower speed i have considered x new speed will be x plus 5 and time they have given in 6 hours 40 minutes so i need to convert that into hours okay how i can do that to convert minutes into hours we need to divide it by 60 so 40 by 60 will be 2 by 3 this is a mixed fraction you need to understand 6 into 3 18 18 plus 2 20 20 by 3 don't make it in point 6 point something just keep it as it is 20 by 3 is the total time 6 into 3 18 18 plus 2 20 by 3 and now just solve this 3 if i take it on the left side it will become 3x into 8 24x and this will become 20x plus 100 so 4x is equal to 100 x will be 25 and which is the slower speed and that will be your answer if p and q are the two digits of the number 653 pq such that this number is divisible by 80 then p plus q is equal to so the number which they have given 653 pq and they have asked us that number should be divisible by 80 one thing a common sense which you need to apply if that number is divisible by 80 then last number should be or last digit should be 0 so we can say value of q is 0 that is for sure now we need to find out p in such a way so that number is divisible by 80 so what you can do take one by one from option so suppose i can say 6 by 3 and suppose if i take the first option as 2 and value of q is 0 whether it is divisible by 80 0 and 0 will get cancelled you can just check you can apply divisibility rule of 8 like last three digits are divisible by 8 or not or you can directly do it since it is a four digit number only so 8 into 8 is i can say 64 1 will be the remainder so 8 into 1 5 will be the remainder 52 will remain since 52 is not divisible by 8 first is incorrect option now check second option 6 5 3 and i will take value of 3 as 0 divided by 80 since 3 is at the last digit or unit digit it cannot be divisible by 8 so d is not the correct option then 6 5 3 4 0 divisible by 80 0 and 0 will get cancelled okay then what you need to do 8 into 8 is 64 13 means 5 will be the remainder again 54 is not divisible by 8 so this is again incorrect so directly you can say this is your answer but you can cross check like 6 5 3 6 0 divided by 80 0 and 0 will get cancelled 8 into 8 is 64 13 means 8 into 1 5 will be the remainder means 56 56 by 8 means 7 so you can say value of p is going to be 0 value of q is 0 and they have asked us p plus q so 6 plus 0 is answer will be 6 thank you for watching the video if you like the video please click on the like button for all the campus updates do subscribe to our channel do click on the bell icon to get the notifications for each and every video from our channel. If you have any doubts about campus placement preparation, we are always there to help you out. I have added certain links about preparation package in the description box. You can check it out. Thank you.